What's good, y'all? Hope you're doing well. So uh, for today's shave, we're gonna be using grooming department, Amari, in the Cairo space. This is from the uh, June release, I believe, early summer. It's important that I mention uh, when this Cairo space is released because uh, this will be restocked, the scent, and it potentially could have an updated version of the base. Uh, I believe it still will be Kairos, but it could be the same. It could be an updated version. Um, Mo has a really uh, cool way of like, you know, updating his bases. Like he's kind of always looking to improve. Um, so if you're like, if you appreciate that or you're into that, uh, I think you very much like grooming department. Now this is the first uh, grooming department soap I've tried and I was pretty impressed. The ingredients are, he has a ton of ingredients in there and it looks pretty awesome. And the performance kind of lives up to that. Yeah, so I get woodsy florals and uh, coconut. This is, coconut's the most prominent. If you like coconut, pick it up. If you don't, skip it. <laughs> Today I'll be using the GOAT, the Paradigm SE. I uh, loaded it with a fresh Captain Mild, which I've never used with this razor before. We'll see how it goes. Um, I kind of wanted like a simple mindless shave today because um, I might be doing a straight razor shave tomorrow. So I don't want to get any cuts today. We'll be going with the Leonidum, one of my favorite brushes. And we're going to load this for like, I don't know, 40 seconds, maybe more. I'll tell you why I'm loading it so long. You could get away with a quick load on this, but I'll tell you why in a minute. It's interesting um, uh, how you feel about the scent because when I originally got it, I kind of hated it. And I went from hating it to like really liking it. Like, it's kind of weird. Have you guys ever experienced that with your soaps um, where you like absolutely hate the scent and then next thing you know, like it becomes one of your favorite. Um, I actually felt the same way about Seville. Uh, what else? Lavanil. The B&M scents uh, took a while to grow on me, but I like them. Yes, yeah, so that's 40 seconds. Um, and you'll see that it'll, it'll uh, dial in in no time. Actually, got some grooming department uh, pre-shave here. This is like an unreleased version. I don't know if it's gonna be the same as the one coming out. But might as well throw it on. I get like an almond, almond vibe, almond smell from this uh, pre-shape. I feel like I'd match the theme today. All right, cool. Uh, okay, let's go. So, um, this is actually one of Corey's favorite soaps uh, from Shaving a Chief, or at least it was when he made the video a couple months back. And, uh, yeah, he's the reason I bought it all these months ago. I saw his video on it and I was like, damn, I gotta try this. His video, uh, his, uh, soaps are pretty high demand. They sell out pretty quickly, so luckily I was able to get my hands on it. But, um, I think he's working on that. Anyways, uh, yeah, him and Jack had like two kind of different viewpoints on this soap. And in some ways I agree with both of them. So, um, I mean, Jack didn't really knock it at all. He just said he prefers other soaps to it just for the fact that uh, it doesn't take as much water, as some other bases. And I actually agree with Jack. So I, I also prefer bases that take more water as a matter of preference. But at the same time, um, I still appreciate this base for what it is. And the reason being is because it takes less water than a lot of other bases, it also means you could dial it in quicker. Um, like Soft Heart, for example, or Excelsior even. I feel like to dial those bases in, they need a ton of water. Like the CK6 needs a ton of water. Um, and if you don't add enough water, it's gonna be way too thick. It's gonna clog your razor. Like it's just annoying. Um, performance is incredible on those bases, but what I'm saying, what I'm trying to say is, it's, all, it's kind of also an advantage that it takes less water in a way because 
let's say you want to you're in a rush you're trying to get a quick shave in you know um like this is the soap i'm grabbing like no other soap in my den can lather this quick like it's pretty much dialed in right now yep so uh that's why i loaded heavy because if i loaded lighter I probably could have dialed it in even quicker but yeah and i found the post shave on this to be uh elite like it might be the best soap i've ever tried in terms of post shave um i prefer the kaizen performance of kaizen overall to this but the post shave for me personally was better um and that's just um my personal experience yours might be very well different but yeah let's get into the shave First pass with the Kai Captain Mild Paradigm SC. Extremely smooth. Um, when I'm not using the professional super blade in this razor, I found that I had to ride the top cap more. But that was with the Feather Professional. I never tried this razor with the Kai, so. The Kai's I found to be the sharpest blade I've ever tried, like in an SE, like in a single edge, uh, artist club, that's what I'm trying to say, artist club. Working on like 15 hours of growth. My only gripe with this razor is it's slippery as hell. Um, yeah, like this is not that grippy. That's my only gripe. Hold on. I need to grab my alum. All right, cool. We're good. Yeah, but it's weird how like, I could go from hating this scent to like, I don't want to say loving it, but it's like, I like it a lot, you know? Um, it's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever experienced that. If you, anyone who uses artist clubs, I highly recommend you try this blade out. Um, the Kai's are sharp as hell, super smooth. My opinion, they just, they crap on the professionals, the feathers, not the supers, but the regular ones, they're just, they're just way better, like no comparison. But the, my only problem is they're, yeah, they're around the same price actually. I was gonna say they're more expensive. Yeah. Yeah, this base is a pleasant surprise for me. Came out around the same time as Kaizen. So I feel like it didn't really, uh, uh, get as much attention. Uh, Kaizen was like all over the internet for a long time and very well much deserved. But, um, you know, this, this competes with it. Like, it's, it's all I'm saying is it's, uh, it's in conversation with the elites. Like, it's up there. And I think uh, most people know that. Um, oddly enough, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't make matching, uh, aftershave products in the same scent. Um, but like I said, the post shave was so good. I really felt like I didn't need one. Um, with some soaps, that's not the case. Yeah, that's first pass done. Yeah, but like, it's such, it's so refreshing, like, to pick something up and it just lathers right away. That's why I recommended Ken to try it out uh, when he restocks um, because it's just like super easy to lather if you're a face latherer uh, or if you're trying to get into it. It's pretty awesome. The scent notes in this are fruits, coconut, spices, florals, 
vetiver, musk ambret, sandalwood, oak moss, woodsy notes, and vanilla. To my nose, all I get is woodsy notes, florals, coconut, of course, uh, which I found the most prominent scent. The, the two most prominent scents are the woodsy notes and the coconut. And what follows that for me is the vanilla and the florals. I don't really get the vetiver, it's oak moss or sandalwood at all. I'd say it's a brighter scent and I like that. Um, I wouldn't mind if I picked up those notes. They don't really stick out to me as notes I wouldn't like, but yeah, it's what I get. I don't know, I hope tomorrow's, I'm, honestly, I'm more concerned about tomorrow's straight razor shave. I might record it and post it, I might not, we'll see. I think I will. Yeah. Just to kind of get you guys feedback, see how it goes. I'll probably pre-lather ahead of time so I can uh, take my time with the shave itself. This razor might be better with this blade than the, than the uh, super even, super smooth, less blade feel. And very similar efficiency. It's like crazy that a shorter blade is keeping up in efficiency than the longer blade. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, but he should be releasing on West Coast Shaving, I think, in a few weeks. Not sure. I don't know if anything's official or not. But, um, yeah. And let's do some cleanups. Don't want to take too long today. Hopefully I don't get any cuts, knock on wood. <laughs> Always get a cut, man. It's a fresh bleed. It's gonna happen. At least with the e artist clubs. Fresh DU blades are whatever. Most of the time for me. Fresh artist clubs, especially these super sharp ones, tend to do it. All right, let's see. Yeah, it's BBS. I'm trying to feel out here. Uh, shout out to the Red Island Shaver. Thanks for uh, commenting on my videos, man. I appreciate the support. Uh, it doesn't go unnoticed. Same to you, uh, So Sharp David. Very cool people. Yeah, like I said, I did attend his live the other day. That was very, uh, very interesting conversation with Peter. You don't, you don't really see him talk as much. The guy's working around the clock. The demand for his soaps is like through the roof. I just hope he doesn't burn out, you know? <laughs> but yeah. All right, cool. We're pretty much good, guys. Let me uh, rinse off and then finish up with the shave that. No cut. My hair is so stubborn, man. It doesn't want to go away. <laughs> this is only like, what, 15 hours growth, man? And like, it just comes back with a vengeance. I think I'm shaving in the wrong direction. That's what I'm doing. Yep. All right, cool. That's BBS. This is gonna get. Cool. 
Yeah, but what I'm basically trying to say or convey with this Cairo space is that because it's so easy to lather, it doesn't take much water at all. Or, I mean, it, like it takes the water, it doesn't take as much. But like at the same time, you could dial it in super quick. So you don't need to spend like 15 minutes lathering. So if you're like one of those people with, which is like many people that are just trying to get in your shave and get out, or you're not trying to spend all day lathering, I highly recommend you try out the soap. Cause I don't think there's one soap in my den that's similar um, in terms of like how quickly it lathers. But um, I have no idea if the updated version, if and when it's released, will, um, this is being filmed in uh, end of August. So I have no idea uh, if the updated version will have the same properties. So uh, you could take that uh, however you want. It could be the same, it could be different. Um, yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah, cause I don't know if you guys saw Corey's video a couple weeks ago, he uh, did a tester and um it took way more water but i think i have to go back and watch the video but i think he said he didn't need it i'm not too sure yeah i don't want to go too crazy right now all right i think we're good phenomenal post shave i gotta rub this stuff in that's how good it is The yeah, artwork's pretty cool too. Um, yeah, um, so yeah, I wanted to try the Nye base, but at the time I wasn't really into vegan bases. This is way before I ever tried CK6, which kind of like changed my, flipped my whole head on the whole vegan versus tallow debate. Um, Cause like, if you tried MDC as your only like vegan base, and you compared it to like the artisan, uh, the artisan tallows, which is not really a fair comparison. I only say that because the majority of artisan bases are tallow, then you would have run it off right away. But if you tried like CK6 or something, or just SV, um, yeah, you'd be impressed. So I'll probably try the Nye on the next release. We'll see how it goes. Um, I thought I'd match it with another bright scent. It is unrelated, but it's bright to me. This is bright. So we'll be going with 88 Chestnut Street by Chatillion Lux. This is a citrusy and bright scent. And I think it pairs well. It is an Aroli forward, but I think it, pair, it pairs pretty well with the uh, grooming department, uh, Amari. Somehow. I still took almost 20 minutes. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, guys. <laughs> Too much talking. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.